Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with No Lane. Today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. But this was probably going to be a short video just because I kind of want to go on and talk about um, the arc buster that's going on. And plus I haven't made any significant changes yet. Except for the fact that I just went ahead and built um, Kronos. I'm going to be using him later on, but at the moment uh, Helios is a priority. Next. <laughs> I, I kind of sidetracked. I was like, I'm going to get Helios to ultimate. Then my mind was like, you know what? I kind of want Kronos. And I kind of do need to make him. And especially since I already had his key, you know, already already in the works, I might as well have done it. So, yeah. <laughs> Just went ahead and did it. But let's go ahead and get into, you know, talking about the Arch update. Which is supposed to be coming pretty soonish, which I'm actually looking forward to. Now they do have this, which I'm not going to do a reaction to just because I don't know about, you know, Gainesville's whole copyright thing at the moment, but yeah. Alright, prologue. Hold on, let me just get myself out of this. The mythical giant, equipped with the Eye of Odin, the Archangel finally makes his appearance. A human-like, self-controlled battle weapon archbuster. Yeah, that is a mouthful. Let's just say that the mythical giant of Titan descends down upon us. The start of a new adventure. The most magnificent fantasy in history is about to begin. Is that it? Apparently that was it. I guess that's all the introduction they're going to give us. Alright. More efficient hunt, which is pretty much the uh, burning system. Where you have a bigger chance of getting more gold, more items from your dungeons, more allies. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's coming at the moment. The rest of our stuff is going to be coming probably next week. So, as you can see, the event tab is not up. And there's only like three parts. So right now we're getting our normal rewards, you know, just logging in, grabbing these rewards, which, hey, these rewards are actually pretty nice. You know, three heroes every day, pretty much an increasing amount of um, transcendence every day as well. But like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to this, like, hands down, I kind of excited just because, like I've said in my um, live stream. I'm actually looking forward to getting back to story with you guys because you guys know I always used to do like the full playthrough through story and we haven't done that in like a long time so I'm eager to get back on it so you guys can definitely expect some more videos coming down that I don't think I'm gonna do like a live stream like I did the last time on this though I think I'm gonna skip that this time and just do videos instead but I am going to take a look at the update with you guys on the live stream just to, you know, chat with you guys, see how you guys feel about the update, and we'll see We'll see what happens from there. Um, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be getting, like, an ultimate uh, transcendent ticket. I'm not sure if heroes are going to be in it. I really hope heroes are in this ticket because we've been inside the Titans for a long time now. And really kind of worried that they won't be in there. Just because if they are, everybody's going to go for Lucy if they don't have her. But I think that's going to be kind of a good thing. Because some of the lower guilds are wanting to work towards her. But at the same time, they don't feel like putting all that resources in. The so yeah, I'm hoping for the best for this update. And I'm hoping it brings back a lot of players. Because that is definitely something I want to see. Is players coming back to the game. Because, you know, it's... The game's kind of been dying but to be honest I'm not too worried about the future because I'm pretty sure a lot of players are gonna come back as soon as uh, Overlord comes because when Overlord comes like you don't even have to worry about getting all those trans you got to worry about just getting all these overlords which are pretty much just like a start off and you just got to grab them all while you can you know farm with those resources Definitely farming is going to be kind of better with the burning system, but at the same time, other people have mixed feelings about it. I kind of have mixed feelings about it, but, you know, we're going to see what happens with it. And there's no way of changing it anyway, because it's already in the Korean version, and 
I'm pretty sure they're dealing with it right now, and it's actually, eh, I don't, I don't really know how they feel. I don't talk to many Korean players, except for a gamer. Not the, I think that's the only Korean player I actually talk to. Hmm. But yeah, really looking forward to everything. So with that said, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. Um, I would skip ahead because we're actually doing really good here. Oh, well, you know what? I jinxed it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.